is up everybody, Finn here from Finn Vips, and today we're going to check out some new liquids that turned up to my door today, which is going to be a Zombies A-Juice. Now they did send kind of like a cheat sheet, but they've got descriptions on all the liquids. So we're going to have a look at it. So we're all going to know what the flavours are this time, it's going to be slightly different. They sent over three flavours for me to check out, so we're going to do it all in this video. Um, and if you're wondering why the dressing gown, you might not be, but my heat has broke, so we're going to be wearing a dressing gown during this, because it's bloody freezing. So, Zombies A-Juice, it says here... Let's just read the description of the company, because this is a nice little card. They do quite a lot of flavours. So these are high VG flavours. And it says, Our remaining supply of food, flavours and antidotes were running low. After assembling our group of survivors, we decided to set out in search of more ingredients so that we could continue our search for the ultimate cure of the zombie apocalypse. Zombie e-juices was developed as a result of the zombie apocalypse, our team of scientists have been tolling away developing different antidotes for each strain of the vaping disease. We are finally ready to release the first batch of antivirus to the public. Each antidote contains the highest quality USP grade ingredients available, delivered in super high VG. Our team has been in the industry since 2008, requiring the knowledge to allow us to guarantee top results. So you can basically find some of these juice. On Facebook, they are on Instagram website. It'll be linked in the description below. So they do, like I say, different different flavors. So they do raging contagion, isolation, said quarantine, zombie chomp, some berries, brinania pie. Is it brinania? Brinana brinana pie, I believe it is. Immune tea and undead scream. So that's the different flavors which they do. So the ones which they sent over and the fantastic little packaging. You got these little containers, it says here, big one on there. This is some berries which we're going to check out first. Inside that little package, you get an antidote ball, which has the zombies e-juice and the zombie it represents on there, as well as, like I said, zombiesejuice.com, website, everything. Really, really tough balls. These are three milligrams of nicotine. They did send me a six over. Also on top of that, inside there, you get a sticker. You get a sticker on every single one. Cool, cool ass little sticker. Check that out. Continuing in the bar, like, kind of a little container of treats. It reminds us very much of them candies used to get. You get a tank ring, which says zombie e-juice on there. Different colours, so we've got a black one in this one. We do have a white and a red. We're not going to go fully into depth with everything, but the packaging is absolutely fantastic. And then you get the top for your antidote bottle. So, we're going to check out some berries. And it does state on the bottle what the flavour is as well, so... You don't really get to have a blind test. So three different strawberry extracts with a sweet and rich Bavarian cream. That's what some berries is, and it does have a description. After the zombie apocalypse, we went and picked the last bit of fresh strawberries on the entire planet and mixed it with our decadent cream. Could this be the cure? And you get this nice kind of blue zombie. I like this menu. It's pretty cool. So let's have a smell. So this is going to be strawberries and cream, using different types of strawberries. When I say different type, I'm kind of imagining Californian strawberries, Florida strawberries. Strawberries from different parts of the country, I'm thinking. Some are sweeter, some are bitter. But you can definitely smell the strawberry straight off. And you get this kind of nice cream sitting in the background, almost like a vanilla cream. And I believe that's what Bavarian cream is. It's got a hint of vanilla to it. So, all you do is you screw the top onto these. And basically, you unscrew the nozzle. You drip away. So, we've got a freshly wicked Japanese cotton on our Philosophy Mini RDA, which we're going to use for this because. I was fitting heavens nine hells. I haven't figured out the problem with that yet, and I'm thinking it's one of the screws. So this is very, very thick. So this is really designed for dripping. But the dripping on it, you don't get a fine point to drip. It's kind of just splodge and go. That kind of technique. So I've been looking forward to trying these because this is the first zombie liquids. Nice thirty ml bottles. Look at that. That looks pretty. That looks pretty cool. Nice little unicorn design to it. To the ball. So let's have a fit on this end. So with it being Max VG, I'm going to assume fit production is going to be fantastic, because it will be. So we're going to kick this off at 7.5 volts, 40 watts. We've maxed out the Cool Fire 4 device for this one on the Mini, because it just sits perfectly. Let's have a quick fit. So favorite production is absolutely fantastic on this. It's really, really smooth for a free milligram. No irritation whatsoever, and it has a really nice taste to it. The different kind of strawberries which are blended in this are really, really nice. So you get this kind of 
You get a really sweet tone all the way through this flavour. The cream sitting in the background leaves that kind of creamy texture, taste to it, left in your mouth afterwards, like if you've had a bowl of strawberries and cream. But the strawberries, because there's different types of strawberries from parts of different locations in America, I believe it is, blended together, you've got a kind of a, a tiny little hint of bitter in there, and a hint of sweetness blended together, gives you that really nice fresh strawberry taste. It's really, really nice. That is nice. That is a really nice strawberries and Bavarian cream, as they're calling it. Flavour to that. Picking more of the strawberry up in the cream, but it leaves a really nice taste in your mouth. I could fape this all day. It's absolutely fantastic. Can't complain. And like I said, you get stick as rings and fantastic balls. So, that one is definitely a recommendation. That's some berries by Zombie E-Liquid. So the next one I'm going to check out, we'll, not, we'll leave this one to last because I, I believe it's got menthol in. We're going to check out Undead Scream, which is a creamy vanilla milk. Haven't had many milk flavors, but we're going to get this dripped up. Don't go anywhere. Be right Okay, so we're going to check out Undead Scream. So we're going to read the description before we check out the bottle. Like I said the only thing different in relation to this bottle this time, we get a nice little red ring. So we've got like three different rings. Pretty cool. Let's just put that back in there for now. And you still get the sticker as well. So, Zombies Scream, or Zombies Cream, where are you? What is your story? Or is it Undead Scream? Undead Scream. So, after finding a pasture of cows, we determined that a few were left unaffected by the outbreak. We quarantined those cows and stored their milk. However, a few survivors still didn't think the milk was safe to consume, so we mixed in a prototype said cure. The results were amazing. Creamy, fresh milk that allows us to continue the fight. So this is the creamy vanilla milk. It's going to be quite interesting, because I haven't had many milk fates. So, let's have a quick smell. Let's give it a quick shape, because these are max. Because they've came all the way from Philadelphia, United States of America. It's just really, really nice childproof cups. These remind me of kind of the sample bottles which you sent to the doctor. In that extent. So let's have a smell. This has got a really weird smell to this one. Really strange smell. I'm not... I'm picking up like a... If you put milk into a pan and you boil it to get warm milk, I'm picking up that kind of hint for it. Not so much vanilla. More on the kind of cooked milk kind of side of things. So, this is going to be quite interesting to try. Doesn't smell bad. Doesn't smell bad at all. It's got a strange, strange smell to it. So, let's just put the cap on there. So, three milligrams. And this, let's get this dripped up on a velocity. I see it's kind of a splodge and go. They're quite thick, these. They just kind of gush out. So, you need to be careful when you're dripping these. Because they don't have a fine point. It just kind of just goes... <laughs> squirt out the bottle. So, let's have a try of <laughs> another zombie liquid. Let's just get this capped on here. It smells weird. Very strange. Very strange smell to it. So this is creamy vanilla milk. Undead scream. That is a strange, strange fate. Really strange fate. Smooth, there's no irritation whatsoever. Not a massive amount of flavour, which I was kind of expecting. It's really hard to describe what this is. I'm not picking up much vanilla in this. I am picking up the milk texture all through it. But not so much vanilla. It's got kind of more of a... If you've had cornflakes and you've left the milk in the bottom, you get that kind of little, kind of wheaty hint to this. That's what I'm picking about this, but I think that's the vanilla causing that with the milk. It's a very strange fave. Has a nice texture to it though. It does have a nice texture. It definitely leaves kind of a a milk taste to your mouth. Like a rice pudding milk. That's what I'm getting out of this. Vanilla rice pudding milk. But it's not unpleasant. Not unpleasant at all. It is a strange flavour this one though. This might not be for everybody. You could make it an all day fave, but because it hasn't got a massive amount of flavour to this one, that might just be my taste buds. That might put some people up. Some people might want more flavour. 
other than that, it's still a nice flavour. I would definitely recommend it. It's not a bad liquid at all. If you're after a milk fave, which you haven't tried yet, this would probably be one to start with. So don't go anywhere, we're going to check out the last one, which is going to be Ice Olation. And I'm assuming this is a menthol, because it says assorted berries in ice menthol. So that's what I'm assuming it is. It's don't go anywhere, we're going to get this wicked up, dripped up, and we're going to fape some cure. And hopefully, we'll survive the apocalypse. Okay, so last but least, we're going to check out Isolation by Zombie E Liquid. Let's just give it a quick shake. So Isolation, you get a nice kind of little white band this time. So we've got three of these little cool ass bands. Put them on some of our tags. So let's have a quick read of Isolation. So Isolation, there we go. Assorted berries and icy menthol. So we picked fresh mixed berries from a desert island and added a refreshing arctic icy touch that will open up your senses, allowing you to truly enjoy every flavour in the juice. You may even be able to smell when the zombies are coming. So that's the description behind it. Let's say this one, some fantastic sounding liquids. So let's check it out. Let's just have a quick smell of this one. Whoa. It smells sweaty. It has a strange smell to this one, mind. But you can never judge the liquid sometimes by the smell. You can definitely smell the menthol in there. But there's something else in there. Something else. Something to do with the fruit. One of the fruits has a strange smell to it. It doesn't smell great. It doesn't smell great at all, so I'm hoping it fapes well. Because I do like menthol liquids. Let's just screw our little cap on top. We're going to drip it up on our mini Velocity RDA. Kick it off at 40 watts. Just have a little splodge. Here we go. These are really hard to drip, actually, these bottles. So There we go. Let's just dab that on. We're going to get it everywhere. I can see it happening. We're going to get it everywhere. No, we didn't. We didn't this time. Awesome. So, this is isolation which we're going to try on the Mini Velocity RDA. We're going to kick it off at 40 watts on a cool fireball. So here we go. So it's kicking in at 40 watts, 0.75 ohms, 7.5 volts. Check it out, isolation. That is a strange. You definitely get the menthol straight away. You can feel the menthol kick in the back of your throat. Now this is a 6 milligram. Which to send over instead of two freeze. But it is smooth. It is smooth. This is a weird one. Very strange. I like the menthol in it, but I'm not too sure at the moment on the berries. It's like if you take a summer fruit concentrate diluted juice and you chuck a bit of bit of menthol in that that's what I'm getting on it it's not a terrible flavor I said the menthol's not bad in it at all it's not a bad fave not a bad fave at all it's a bit strange it's a quiet taste the berries on this are a quiet taste there's something in it it's not black currant which I'm picking up it's more of a kind of a raspberry strawberry hint But there's something else in there, which I can't pinpoint yet. I can't put my taste buds under it. But the menthol's fantastic. It definitely clears out your sinuses. It's definitely a palate changer liquid. Definitely a palate changer liquid. Not too sure what... <coughs> menthol catch me throat a bit there. Not too sure what that other fruit's in there. They kind of blended in a way where you can't really pin them out. You can't separate them as much. Because the menthol's just kind of wrapped around all of it. Running all the way through it. But you're getting kind of like a raspberry strawberry kind of berry in this. Maybe a hint of black currant, I think. Maybe there's a hint of black currants in there as well. But it is definitely like a mixed fruit. Kind of like a summer mixed fruit berries in there with a hint of menthol. It's definitely different. It's definitely different. It's not bad fit at all. I could fape on this all day, personally, because I, I like menthol. But if you're not a fan of menthol, the menthol's a little bit too strong for some people. Probably this would put you off. Nevertheless, it's a nice juice. It is a nice juice isolation, so definitely check them all out. I say this is zombie A juice. I'm going to blow you out of the cloud, as per usual. All the links will be in the description below, and hopefully we can test out some of the other flavors later down the line, because they have crushed fruit candy and lemon, which sounds really nice. Sweet and creamy strawberry custard with paraline. Love paraline. Fresh guava and smooth vanilla custard. They do a banana cream pie. 
milk bubble tea infused with mint leaves, which sounds really nice actually. So hopefully we could try some more of them. So check out all the links in the description below. Till then, stay safe, fair puppy, fair be cloud. This is some e liquid.